the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles and Macro here today back again, jumping back into fishing planet. Alright guys, so today we are coming from New York's Emerald Lake and we're going to look at the hot spot. It's the main hot spot. It's the great way to grind, get good money and XP. Now this is a level 5 lake, so you're going to have to get up to level 5. You're also going to need not the highest level of equipment, but you need a little bit better ride. You can do it with earlier rides, but just know these fish are heavy. You're going to be catching 2 plus pound walleye two plus pound fish you see i have a 3.3 .3, almost three and a half pound walleye and they can't get bigger than that but you see how much money we get for this look at that 292 99 xp yo this is the lick this is a great place to grind a great place to farm you will make great money get your xp up i've already grinded up a few levels just being here i went from about 14 to 17 working on 18. so i'll show you what gear what tackle i'm using and the technique i use to catch the fish uh, works pretty consistently and we'll get our grind on get this farming on all right make sure you like make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed Hit me in the comment box. Let me know any tips, any info. It's always helpful and it helps others, all right? And share this video so it can get out to as many people as possible, all right? So let's take a look at my gear. What I'm currently using, I have three ride setups, but the spin rod that I am using is the Aurora eight foot two inch. The lure weight is three eighths to three fourth ounce. So I could work with bigger, slightly bigger lure than the quarter ounce that was on my prior ride. 3 to 10 pounds, not much different from the 3 to 9 pounds that I had on my last ride. I'm using the Epislim 1000, it's a 5 pound max drag, using this mono 0.010 8 pound test. And, and to catch the walleye, you need narrow spoons. You need different narrow spoons. I got the silver narrow spoons. They actually sell a great one to use in the Emerald Lake Tackle Shop. This narrow spoon right here. I also got the gold one. There's a black one that people recommend as well. There are a few other types that work, but the best one to get the walleye is the narrow spoon. I've had the best luck with the silver. Some also say the black works well or any narrow spoon works well. I've had the best luck with the silver. Peak times are always great, and I've seen people or heard of people catching walleye in the daytime. The best time to catch walleye is the nighttime for me. I fished all day at one point. Didn't catch one walleye, caught a lot of grass. Pickle root, they were good size. They gave decent money and decent XP. But the minute 9 p.m. hits, I began catching a ton of walleye. Every fish was a walleye. I fished out here. I'm talking about a whole day did not catch one walleye. Got my technique together and learned to catch uh, the pickle root and another and a couple other type but no walleye just know that so for me i fish entirely at night to catch these walleye this is the third day of a three-day trip for me the best luck that i have is pointing at this tree right here in the middle it's the biggest tree in the middle with the color i also get luck it's a green tree right here you can see it better in the daytime there's a green tree that's bigger than some of these other colorful trees here and then you also can go to this angle a little bit there's an orange tree framed in these yellow trees basically anywhere in here works but this is where I've got the best activity. This tree, that tree, and right here kind of with this tree. And then just bopping in between. To catch the pickerel, if you throw over there by that rock, you'll catch more that way. And also that rock coming across this way or even by those leaves right here. All right. So let's go ahead and throw it out. Let me show you the techniques. All right. I'm going to point at this tree. Go ahead and start with this tree. Let it float all the way to the ground, to the bottom of the lake. All right, and I'm gonna do a stop and go first. Uh oh, look, got a hit already, got a hit already. And you want your real speed to the third notch. It's four notches that you can do. You want it on that speed three. And then they're not, they don't come in easy. You just kind of got to keep riding with them, reeling with them. Well, at least for uh, this earlier tackle. 
and bam, two pound walleye, 189, 64 XP. Nice. All right, so we're going to go back to the same tree right here. And we'll go ahead and cast it out. Again, make sure your real speed is three. You can see down in the bottom right corner. Going to let it flow all the way. We're going to let it sink all the way to the bottom. Give it a second. And... Oh, yeah, I think that's the spot right there. Bam. That's the spot right there. They sitting right there. They are sitting right there. A lot of times, depending on where I reel, the spot is at about 60. Once you get to about 60 feet, 70 feet, um, you get the strikes. This one is striking right there at that 100. So they're settled right there where I'm hitting. And, yeah, they'll move a little bit around in these areas. That's why you use those few different, you know, spots to cast. But once you find a line, once you find a spot where they are, they're going to be there very consistently. Yeah, this one's going to be a decent size right here because he's fighting. He's not coming in easily. This one will be at least two and a half, three pounds. I'm going to say three. I'm going to say maybe three, two. Cause yeah, this was taking a while. He might be three and a half. Might push four. Yeah, he is giving quite a bit of fight. Come on, we're trying to rock him to sleep. There you go. We rocking you to sleep. We rocking you to sleep. Yeah, look at that three and a half. I called it. I called it. Get that 300, 101 XP. When you get that much XP, you're going to go back to the well right here at this tree. Bam. And again, it works at these others as well. But this where they sitting there right now. Let it drop to the bottom. And another tip do multiple days. I didn't know about days, and nobody ever really mentions the days that you should fish. They always, and we're going to go ahead and start with our stop and go. They always kind of tell you what to do. Yeah, they are sitting. Ah, oh, I missed them. I missed them. They always kind of tell you what to do. They may give you the tackle. Nobody speaks about uh, fishing days. Yeah, I think I may reel this one in. Either choose it initially or stay multiple days and you'll earn, bam, got him. Missed the first one, caught another one. And you'll earn your money back better. So if you're thinking like, eh, I don't have 1200 to go to a certain lake or this lake is almost 3000 Well, it's in the 2000s. Once I did multiple days, it was 3000 Plus, you got to pay for those licenses. What you do is do at least three days. I did five days at Mudwater Lake. And um, I tripled the money. But, you know, if you just go and leave, you got to pay for that cost every time. We got 2.2, 193, money, 66 XP. Versus if you stay multiple days, you don't have to pay that return travel fee. Just kind of lock it in there. Save and leave. If you save and leave while you're at the lake, you will um, still be there when you come back. I didn't know that either. So I thought I had to leave the lake every time. That just wasn't clear. Um, I didn't know, you know, if you quit, what would happen or if you would lose things like they do in some games or lose your catches. But yes, when you're at a lake, just quit. Stay there multiple days. Grind it out. Catch as many as you can once you find the hot spot. Um, once you get your technique down and then just grind and get your money back. And then, you know, of course, try to earn you a profit. And again, we're doing a regular stop and go. Come on, Walla. Come on, Walla. The people also throw out feeders here. But I mainly just focus on the Walla. There we go. Bam. Another hit. Another hit. Do, 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 do. Another hit. Do, 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 do. Another hit. Do, 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 do,
This one about a two pounder. Two and a quarter. He coming in fairly easy. He fighting there at the end though. Uh oh. He fighting there at the end. He might get up to two and a half. Two point seven. I'm, I'm gonna say like two and a quarter. He closer to two. Oh, he was three. Whoa. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That was a three. Now, you see I have a 33-pound fish net. Uh, it's actually the fish jail. Once I leave um, this one, I was actually waiting. I'm going to get the, I think it's at about 66 pounds. Oops. That was ugly. It's like a 66-pound uh, keep net or the the fish jail, as they call it, where it's just that stringer. I'm going to upgrade to that so I can sit out longer, you know, each day, even on the grind. But once again, if you if you have a smaller keep net, what you need to do is just fish extra days. If you have a smaller keep net, just fish extra days. And that way, once your keep net gets full, you just go to the next day. You know, new empty keep net, fill it up again. You can fill it up multiple times. Let's say you're only generating 1,500 or 1,000 filling up your keep net or even 800 you know you do a five-day trip 800 you done made for a thousand versus only making that thousand and you spent you know 800 in licenses and you know things of that nature it makes it not worth it so yeah just consider all things and again if you have any info or any tips regarding that um situation if you have any info and tips regarding that technique, let me know. And again, if you have any info or tips regarding, you know, days, regarding uh, how long you go to lakes and fishing and things of that nature, please put them in the comments. Let us know, man. We like to share that info, share those tips to help out players. All right, I'm, I'm actually switch it up. I'm going to do the lift and drop. There are two ways that you can do lift and drop. One is just holding the right trigger or, excuse me, the right mouse button or the left trigger if you're on controller. You have your ride fully tilted up and then just turn and lift, drop, lift, drop. You just keep rotating. Dude, somebody saying they got a 440-pound net and CBA filling it. <laughs> New York is so boring. <laughs> they can't stand it. Yeah, that's the only thing. This is just for grinding at this lake because you can't really even go around the lake unless you have a boat. You got to stand right here on the deck or go over to that corner area right there. That's basically it. So everybody just comes, stands here, just grinds all night get the money so they can buy new things or go other places and that's pretty much it i'm gonna throw it this green tree it looks like that spot is drying up i done caught them all i'm gonna try one more lift and drop lift and drop does work um stop and go i just use stop and go because once again it works very consistently as well and you can even play the middle a little bit with your float or with your lure Instead of like staying totally, look, boom, another hit. Instead of staying totally on the bottom. But, um, yeah, they, cause they kind of hover in the middle walleye and they say they look down because they are, you know, predatory. So they're looking for prey, kind of floating above it and then strike below. So they're up a little bit, you know, about midway. So you can come up and let your float. Kind of float a little bit higher than on the ground if you want. But sticking to the ground will be just fine. They'll see it. And they'll strike as you are seeing. Wow. Now this is... This seems to be a pretty decent size. It's taking a while to get him in. Okay, I'm really having to use that pump real technique. Pull it all the way up real down. Pump it up reel down because even if i just sit here and do a steady real pump okay okay he's wearing out now but he wasn't even coming in just doing a steady real pump 
All right, we about to get you. We about to get you out of this water. Ooh, this one's a big one. I know he's at least a three pounder. At least a three pounder. Come on. There we go. Ooh, three and a half. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's almost a trophy. I think at least the over the 3.5 is a trophy trophy. 300. Mm. We're going to go back to the well, go back to the same spot. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Again, let it float to the ground. Float down to the bottom, sink down to the bottom. You sit there for a second. And lift and drop worked here, so I'm going to go back to lift and drop. Lift and drop, for real, and give it what you got. Lift, drop, lift, drop. Yeah, lift drop works well. I prefer using uh, stop and go. I see a lot of consistent success there. But I mean, of course, we're going to use whatever works. Whatever works. And you see, it gets a little crowded here. A lot of people show up. Come on, Walleye, where you at? Yeah, once you get past about 40, you're not going to get a hit. If you don't get it at about that 60 range, once you get to about 50, you can go ahead and reel it in. I'm going to go back to this main tree because we weren't really getting a lot of hits right here. See if they've shifted over a bit. They seem to be to the left or to the right today. And again, three notches on the speed, speed three. I'm going to just do a stop and go. And you see most people kind of have their angle up a little higher. But even though I keep mine down, I still get hits. So you just find what works for you. Bam. Bam. Find what works for you, baby. Yes. Come on, Walla. Come on in. Come on in. It's your new home. This is your new home. This is your new home. <laughs> Yes, 2.8. 2.8. All right, guys. So let's see. Three, six, nine. I'm going to catch me about four more fish. That'll fill up my net. And then I'm going to get out of here. That'll be my last day at this lake. Made a good amount. Oh, I want to show y'all what I got in my keep net. Okay. Let me do this one last reel. I'm going to show y'all what I got in my keep net and what the total is Um, after this one. And we'll see what I make so far. So you can kind of have a gauge or estimate on what you can make here uh, each day. At some point, I get a kayak. I mean, a kayak costs a crazy amount of money. But at some point, when I can stack up those hundred thousands, thinking about 350,000 to get a kayak. Then um, you can go over to a point at this lake and catch these saugers. I think that's it. Sager, sauger. Let me know in the comments. Um, I think that makes good money. And it's just a different fish. One of the, the top fish at this lake. But you can't catch them from here. Oh, bam. We got another hit. We got another hit. Oh, we lost them. We lost them. We lost. Uh, okay. 
So let's check out our keep net real quick. You go to inventory and you see we're catching these and it's not even peak time. Look at that. It's the lowest time. So you go to the peak time, they be popping even more, but it just popped through the whole night where you can catch them 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. All right. So in our keeper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wall. I already have 1700 with just seven and I should be able to catch at least four more. Four or five more with uh three pounds a piece. Three, six, nine. I could probably squeeze five more in there. So I'm gonna get close to three G's. I usually get about three G's. Um, that's what I've gotten each day. And if that last fish messes around and it's pretty big, you know, you squeeze in a couple extra dollars off it. So that's what you can look forward to getting, guys. So again, hit me in the comment box. Any tips, any info is always appreciated. Make sure you like. Hit that like button for me, guys. Get this video up. Make sure you subscribe. You're not subscribed. Share this so others can use it. And again, any tips, any info is always appreciated, all right? And yo, I'm going to keep coming with these, man. So again, great reason to subscribe and, and even uh, share that info. Because I'm going to come with more of these every lake I go to as I learn what works. Different spots, different techniques. If I learn what works over even at that other spot or once I'm able to get a kayak, I'm going to do a video on it and just try to share whatever tips and info I find. All right. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Yo, we finding great hot spots. We getting these techniques. We catching these walleye. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game.